I was walking down the newly rebuilt Belmar boardwalk, which was wiped out after Hurricane Sandy. Now there's a battle brewing over this rebuilt boardwalk between the current mayor and the former mayor. So here's why. Now, the current mayor, Matthew Doherty, set up a popular idea to help rebuild this boardwalk. It was called the Buy a Board Campaign. So by buying a board, $5,000 to be a big kahuna, a $25 donation to be a beach bum, raised over $720,000 to rebuild this boardwalk. But that money still has not been spent. So I met with Mayor Doherty to ask him, where's that money being used? Why is it still sitting in a pot? And who rebuilt the boardwalk if those do donations were not used? The boardwalk we're standing on, there were no property taxpayer dollars in the borough of Belma that paid for this boardwalk because it's part of the beach utility. The pavilions themselves, which sit on the boardwalk, are also part of the beach utility. Unfortunately, because of a lawsuit by the former mayor, uh, we're going to be compelled to put some of the burden on the taxpayers in Belmont. But he did say that this money will be used. It will be used to create these pavilions on the boardwalk. So, but who's not happy about that? The former mayor, Kenneth Pringle. So his law firm is actually representing other residents in Belmar who are upset about this as well. So I spoke to a spokesman for the law firm, Ed Banano. People very generously from the town, from the area, from the state, from all over, gave money for that purpose. And the concern we have now is that the borough is talking about using some of that money to defray the cost to take that and use it for the pavilion. So when I'm walking the boardwalk, the names of the donors are on plaques by the beach. So you can donate and put your name by your favorite beach in Belmar. And those signs are up. The current mayor, Doherty, said that the money raised will be used and it will be used to pay for these pavilions to so the taxpayers don't have to pay as much money towards these pavilions. Does the former mayor, I mean, is this just sour grapes because he's not the mayor anymore and he wants to keep his name out there? Or is there a legitimate question that they say we want our money back. Does he represent people that gave money? The current mayor surmises that that's the issue, that it's a former mayor versus new mayor thing, and he wants it his way and is just nitpicking here. Bottom line here is there's an awful lot of private money. I'd like to see beach tags go up and taxes come down in this state.